Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today it's a beautiful early May morning here in Southwest Florida. It is 79 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 27 degrees Celsius. Um, not much wind. <clears throat> it's early in the morning and pretty hot, so it's going to be a steamer today, which these guys just are going to love. Um, the sun, I can, I can feel it on my back, and man, is it, is it warm. Again, these guys loving it. Um, what I wanted to talk with you about today, and, and actually get some feedback from you in, in the comments, is, uh, I guess, inconsistent bloom formation, but uh, more color and structure and things like that. And what I have in front of me today are two uh, repeat bloomers. And uh, I've got a few other orchids that are repeat bloomers. I've got, uh, I've got a lot of nice things uh, that are blooming now and a lot, a lot of nice things coming, but these kind of demonstrate uh, the point a little bit to what I wanted to talk about today. And that is um, how the blooms can vary from year to year or from bloom to bloom. Um, I'm, what I'm not talking about is uh, sometimes you get a bloom that opens up and then over time it, it changes as the bloom matures, it changes colors just, you know, just a little bit, whether it goes from yellow to orange, orange to yellow, or um, it, it kind of fades. Usually with many of my flowers, they actually start out when they open up, they're really, the, the coloration is really intense and then it fades. Um, what I have here is a couple of plants that just are, and, and, and I don't know, what I want from you, sorry, is if you see this and if this is common. So let me, let me explain what I have here. So this first uh, plant is Big Dipper, and this is shown um, right here. And the interesting thing about this plant, and it's a nice, um, a nice bloom. This is the second bloom for me. I'm starting to get, um, I think the blooms are going to be pretty long lived on this plant because the, um, the blooms opened maybe about a week ago and I'm starting to get some fragrance now. So it's kind of a good sign that they're going to last not a lot of fragrance, but some subtle fragrance that I'm starting to get on this guy just now. And what I wanted to um, share with you, and what I'm going to do is put this uh, flower up here. And then on the one side of the screen, what I'm going to do is show a still of the previous flower on this plant. And what I want you to see is uh, the differences. So in one case, uh, this flower, the one that's, uh, that's live and moving, there's some flaring uh, in the petals. Uh, and the other one, the previous flower, when it bloomed, there wasn't this obvious flaring. It was light in the middle of those petals. Uh, and then also the lip was a little bit different. I think in this one, it's, it's less intense. And there's also a little bit of yellow in the throat of this plant. In the previous bloom, I, I didn't see that. Now, this is, this is subtle. This isn't really um, striking. But it was for me, when it first opened, I thought this was something else because it didn't look uh, familiar to me. Um, so what I'd like is just, an, you know, in your comments, just let me know if you think that this type of, and these are subtle differences, whether this is, is um, common uh, or is, is unusual or whether certain types of orchids will show. And, and I know you see some really subtle differences from even bloom to bloom and year to year and things like that. But I think these are a little bit more striking. Now, what is even more striking is, is this one right here. And this is a, uh, all I can say is this is a weird, um, this is really a weird bloom. And I'm gonna put it up here. And when you see it, it's kind of like something's missing. And it definitely is. I'm gonna show you the back of the bloom because some of the things that I wanna show you are also on the back of the bloom here and I hope you can see that okay. So what is, what is up with this? This is, just so you know, this is Oprah Winfrey, and this is a repeat bloom like the similar uh, flower 
the similar orchid that I just showed you. This is a repeat bloom on this plant. And actually on this plant that I'm holding up, there's a nice huge seed capsule that's forming on this. So even the previous bloom didn't look like this. Okay, so what is missing on this flower? Well, it just, I mean, when you look at it, it looks just kind of, it looks like you got two eyes just staring at you. Um, but there's no, all right, so you have, you have, let's talk about the subtle things first. You have um, two, two sepals on this, whereas typically you have three. All right, so on this, on this flower, you've got one, two, and then three sepals. This one, this Oprah Winfrey, only has one on the top and one on the bottom. All right, what's, what is the big thing that's missing from, from this flower? And the thing is, I'm, I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to show the previous flower on the opposite side of the screen, and it should be pretty obvious what's missing. So what's missing from this, in addition to the one sepal, is the the lip of the uh, you know the the third petal that has the lip and the throat and those parts of it so um, you know what's going on and, and the thing is the rest of the parts a lot of times when you have um, some distortion in the flowers from from insects or from whatever reason the whole flower is equally distorted this is this looks pretty clean this is a change I mean the the, the third sepal is not there gone the uh, the third petal also on the on the bottom that contains the throat and the and the lip gone um, and so what what is going on here well I'm, I'm not I don't know that's why I'm having this video and that's why I'm asking you this but what happens with plants in general is they do have there's there can be depending on what's going on it's undesirable but there can be some a change in programming that's not genetic um, and you look at this and you say oh this is a this is a mutant but the previous flower that came out of this same plant it, it should be identical this is how you know again it's how mirror cloning and cloning works um, this flower was perfectly formed and it was fine this flower is a little different and and what you can have depending on the conditions is you, again you can have some reprogramming um, you can have some um, you know epigenetic effects where the DNA itself is the same but some of the the structure that kind of um, has the DNA open and leads to programming so the structure changes conformation changes where things can't quite in and you don't get the normal gene expression profile um, so you can have things like that and you can have mutations but I don't think that's what this is this is too clean um, in, in, in order to see that now the rest of the flower again from looking at it looks just fine I'm not going <laughs> to pollinate it uh, but I looked and the, there are pollinia that are still um, that are still up in there behind the anther cap so everything else looks looks good on this I do have some new I'm going to keep an eye on this plant I have new growths uh, coming out but this is I think some kind of uh, something uh, you know physiological or um, you know epigenetic change that led to kind of a, a localized um, reprogramming of some of the um, some of the pathways and passages in this flower. The rest of the plant um, looks looks just fine, and I think everything is good. And I'm going to hold on to this plant, and I'm going to get the progeny of this plant. I, I don't think this is, is it, it looks weird. I don't think it's desirable. I don't think it is a genetic thing, so I'm not going to I'm not actually going to cross onto it and do anything with it. But I just wanted to share this with you because it's unusual, but I don't know how unusual it is. So again, final time to send me, if, if you've seen something like this, um, send me your comments and let me know what you think caused it. Okay, so <laughs> that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. It was a short video, but there was just a few things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you like my video and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out. If you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, here we go with some unusual flowers, I think. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, and happy propagating.